Welcome to another two for two video, and today we are talking about this. Everybody all Chinese, no English. Then they should go back to China. The words she picks go back to China. I'm gonna say no to that. You know, I'm not going back to China, like, unless you give me a good reason, like, oh, go back to China because the housing prices are cheap and electric cars they give them away for free. Like, maybe, you know, if they're cleaning the air in China, I would go back. Go back to China. There's a Canada, no you. This is Canada. Canada. English Anybody in the country coming here. No you. Let's talk about the guy in the white shirt. It's kind of ironic that he is talking with an Asian accent and you can barely make out what he's trying to say. I believe he's trying to say that Canada is a free country. If you're going to work here, it is the law to know English. And she uses this argument to support her last statement. If you're going to work here, it is the law to know English. There is no law to know English that I'm absolutely sure of that. There is laws to, of discrimination when employers hire employees. So if you are not getting hired because of your race or even your accent when you speak English, then that is against the law. There are some businesses that speak specific languages based on the clientele they are serving. Maybe she's having a bad day. Maybe her cat got ran over. Maybe somebody called her on the telephone, a telemarketer. I hate telemarketers, by the way. Maybe somebody called her trying to sell her some new newspaper or something. I don't know what do telemarketers call and sell these days. Knives or something? Spoons? Dishes? I, I don't know. Well, maybe she was in traffic and when she got there, she's already irritated. Maybe she was in line for too long. And I know Asian supermarkets. I've been to Asian supermarkets and the lineups for the bakery, the meat department, the fish department, and the Chinese food the area. Those lineups, there's no organization to those lineups. If you're the loudest person there and you can wave your hands, air traffic control signal the employee to help serve you, then you will get served. If you stand in line and be shy, you actually have to take your chance that an employee actually sees you in the lineup then decides to actually serve you the next guy that comes in to try to talk to her i like this one because it comes from a, a good action star of mine i'm trying to make out what he says i think he says you're looking for trouble and it seems like you are like that changed her tone a little bit no i wanted to know how much things were so i can order something I like to know how much things are before I can order something too. When I want to know how much something is, I usually read the signs with the prices on them. If she started with that question first. So I would like to know how much is it? Can I put together rice and vegetables? Can she put together rice and vegetables? I don't know. I've never actually seen rice and vegetables in Chinese food ever. Like. What is she thinking? That's crazy talk. How much is it? I think for the couple, uh, so you see here, right? So we can pick it up and eat it. Yeah. What is equal? Just before the video ends, it looks like she's trying to figure out her combos and this lady's helping her. You know, if she asked, somebody will probably speak English at an Asian supermarket in Ontario, Canada. You know, stuff like that happens. I like how this video ends. There was no knife fights. There was no pushing. There was no fighting. There was no security or cops involved. So this is people figuring it out, which is great. Solving an issue, figuring it out, not getting overwhelmed and angry. And people that were angry like that guy, he just removed himself from the situation, which is sometimes bad or good. It just depends on the situation. It's just a situation. This video is only a minute and 24 seconds. We don't know what happened at the beginning and we don't know what happens at the end. It's just the part in the middle where she just goes off on a tantrum saying, go back to China. So if somebody said to me to go back to China, I would ask why, what's your reasons to? This is the end of the two for two. Thanks for watching. Share, like, subscribe. M square out.